month and I was supposed to. So I'm going to do like a current favorites and it might be more stuff, not just beauty related stuff. Um, if you guys are wondering what's going on with my hair, um, this is like old hair that's gone straight with no curl. Um, it gets on my nerves, but that's just what it's doing right now. I haven't touched my color up or anything, but it is what it is. So I'm going to jump right into my current favorites. Um, first, I'm going to talk about this NYX pencil. And this is the Tres Jolie. I don't even know how you say it. Um, gel crayon, gel pencil liner. And it's a it's it's amazing i'm using that in the waterline today but it was so smooth going on it's just it's crazy i'm gonna have to go back and get like a million of them um it comes with a little sharpener on the end if you need to like get down to the nitty gritty but this is what the the tip looks like and you can just i think you can twist it up yeah, you can twist it up, but I think, I guess, eventually, this little part might not do. So, I don't really know what the sharpener is for, but this is an amazing gel pencil. And the waterline, it, it's, it's a go. It's a go for me. Um, next, I want to talk about this little thing right here. Um, I ordered this, I believe, from... Was it Beautylish? I'm not even sure. But all it is is like a little thing that you put like your makeup on when you're mixing stuff. Um, because me, I like get tired of putting it on the back of my hand and then it messes up. And then I end up touching something and it gets everywhere. So I really, really like this thing. And it's Jane Irid Iridell. And I think it was like $12 or something when I ordered it. But I've had it for a while. Um, now this is old. But I've constantly been using it and it's the Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser and I only use it I rub it in on my fingertips and I just dab it into my pore areas around my nose and it, it's a lifesaver and another thing is I've noticed that I might be allergic to makeup forever face products um initially I tried the foundation and I started getting little bumps and then I returned it so then I tried, wanted to try the the little primers that they have now, and I picked up the smoothing one because I know a lot of people watch like Nicole Guerrero and people like that who use it, and I got that, and I would just apply it around my nose area, and I started to get little bumps, and since I discontinued using it, I no longer get the little bumps, so I just stick with my Maybelline Pore Eraser, and and that's just what it is so I can get this for like seven bucks instead of like a poor thing for like thirty dollars and I'm good to go um what's next what's next also I wanted to mention the Kat Von D shade and light palette and this is the regular contouring palette and I think a lot of people were like oh don't try it if you're a deeper skin tone or they might not like it as a deeper skin tone but me being on the the browner spectrum of skin tones i actually really really like this um i think the shades are amazing i think the colors are amazing i've used the banana powder under the eye the banana colored powder under the eye and i also used um these two shades to contour with and I really enjoy it. I don't really see anything wrong with it. I really like it. I haven't dove into the La Rock, the Rock um, Contour Palette yet. So I can't really compare. But maybe that will be Mommy. another video I could do. Mommy. Yes, Jordan. The not working. Okay, just hold on a second. Um, next, moving right along. Um... I wanted to mention this eyeshadow because this is what I have on my eyes today. So I figured I'd just throw it in there. But is this not gorgeous? Look at that. It's so pretty. And this is what's on my eyelids today. And this is Makeup Geeks Pegasus. And it came out with that second round of foiled eyeshadows. And I've mentioned the foiled shadows before because they're, they're like out of this world. I love them. Um, they're amazing. The pigmentation is so good. And I love it. So this is Pegasus by Makeup Geek. 
and I also wanted to mention a couple of brushes that I've been using lately. Um, I first wanted to mention this Morphe E6 brush. This is a part of the Elite Collection, and it's just like a flat top kabuki. And I used it with my foundation today, and I must say it's amazing. I usually use it to like um pat the foundation in first, and then I'll go in and like buff it in. But it's a great brush. It's sturdy. They really took their time making these, and they're amazing. I have some other ones, and maybe I'll do a video of the ones that I actually have. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to buy the rest of them before they're gone because they're supposedly limited edition, but I have a feeling that they're going to make them permanent. And if you leave it up to me, I would love for them to make them permanent. But they're just so nice, and the quality that you get for the price is amazing. You can always use their 10% off code. You can get it from other, like, YouTubers. I usually use, like, uh, Manny MUA's. 10% off code. I've also used, I believe, Patrick Star. So it's plenty of codes you can find out there um, to use. Um, I've also been enjoying this little baby right here. And this is a blending brush. And this is by Cosette. And this is their S175. Great blending brush. I used it today on the eye. It really fits like right into my crease. And I've been really enjoying it. So it's like a tapered blending brush and the bristles are oh excuse my fingernails the bristles are like extremely soft and it fits right in the little crevice uh, as you can see i'm using this little thing this is like a to-go container that my cosette brushes came in and you can just put this on and you can take it with you so i guess i can mention that too um also i probably mentioned this in another video this is just fan brush this is the sigma Fan F41, and I just use it to highlight the cheek. Um, anything else? Oh, also this little tulip powder brush is also from Cosette, and it's the S120. And these, like, feel amazing. And they also, they're shaped so when you lay them down on the table, they don't roll. So it's got, like, a little stopper on it, which is nice. And not to mention the color. The color is great as well. And, again, the bristles are extremely soft. Can't complain about that. I'm trying to think, I have like a million and one things on my back table, and I'm trying to make sure I didn't really get on my back table, and I'm trying to make sure I didn't really forget anything. Okay, aside from that, I just can I just say, is this not gorgeous or what? This is my iPad Mini, and I got this case from overseas, and it was only like eighteen dollars. And it's amazing. It's so cute. I think I need something to still cover up the front, but I don't do too much with it besides watch YouTube, of course, and play Candy Crush Soda. So that's why I don't really, I don't carry it around as much. So I'm not really that particular about it breaking because I usually just use it in the house. But this is my case and I love it. It's blinged out. Um, anything else? Anything else? I think that might be it for right now. Oh, on my lips today, I'm wearing World Lip Liner and Stone Lipstick from the MAC Lip Collection that came out um, with MAC. So, oh, and something else, you guys. Oopsie. This little baby right here. This is the Josie Marin Argan Alignment Illuminizer. And it's amazing I used it today I actually applied it on my face first before I put on my foundation but it says that you can mix it with your foundation but I really really enjoy it it's really nice it's you can get it at Sephora or Sephora inside JC Penney's and you'll be good to go so I guess that's um pretty much all of my little current beauty and random favorites oh you know what you guys I wanted to mention these these are my Alex and Ani bracelets. I know these are some ones that recently received. Um, okay, not the horseshoe one. I've already had that one. But this one right here is a sister one. And my sister slash bestie friend that I love so dearly. Felicia, if you're watching, thank you. Um, she got me that. And she got me this other bracelet right here, if you guys can see. But it's like a wrap one. It's this one right here. She got me these for my birthday. And then... I picked up this one while they were having a sale. It was like 30% off. So it's like different colored jewels and it has the spikes on one end and it also wraps. So I love Alex and Ani. Um, I can't mention them enough and I love them. Um, so I guess that's it. Do you want to come and say hi? 
to the camera? Do you want to say hi? Let me see if this little one who always interrupts when I'm trying to do a video. Come on, come and say hi. Because they probably don't want to know how big you are. Come on, be careful. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, Sam. Say I'm Jordan. I'm Jordan. Okay, blow him a kiss. No, you gotta use your hand. Blow him a kiss. Use your hand. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, YouTube, I'll catch you in the next video. If you guys have any questions or things like that or suggestions for new videos, just shout or holler in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.